Great vehicle show. I'm hoping I can reverse this lens because I didn't really want it pointing at me. But anyway, um, it is, oh, what day it is. It's uh, May 20th or so. And the, the ceremonies are about to start. We've already had Hueys flying overhead quite a bit. Uh, let's see, we don't want to see me this whole time. Let's see if I can reverse this lens. There we go. This is the typical thing you're going to see mainly. You're going to see uh, Jeeps are very popular. Uh, this and a half is very popular. Most everything here is collectibles that people have wanting to restore and keep. Unlike me, I'm trying to get mine to work. Hopefully this camera won't be so shaky. I'm just hand holding this thing. So um, we've already had some Hueys flying over about every 10 minutes it seems like, but I think they're gonna stay out of the sky right now because in about five minutes, we should be seeing the, uh, a flyover. Um, Cincinnati something or other military jets, I think. Now in normal years, I am a vendor here, but this time I am not a vendor here. This time I'm just a spectator because I'm looking for parts for my M51. And I haven't been around the whole show yet. I only got here about 15 minutes ago. But let's start walking around until the, the flyover and the Hueys start taking off again. There's a lot of vehicles here. You're going to see probably more than 100 vehicles. How many vehicles do you got, think we got here? Yeah. Military ones. Not enough. I didn't see as many as last year. Just a rough <laughs> guess. Well, they're spread out more this year. Hundreds still? Probably hundreds, yeah. Okay. And we half had, of them were Cheney's. <laughs> we had 25 or 21 mutts over here in a circle yesterday. Okay. This year is a year for the mutts. What's what's a what's a what's a mutt? I mean, the military utility tactical truck. Okay. That's what they call them. I'm my, my audience here. I don't even know enough about this, but I'm I'm live streaming right now, and my audience might not know what a mutt is either. Yep, that's what it is, Jeep. I have a, a five-ton dump truck that I'm trying to get to repair to get worked. Ah. I also have a Unimog 404. Oh, really? I need to bring here some year. All right. Thanks for your Where information. You uh, Michigan. Michigan, whereabouts? Um, right now, southern <laughs> Hillsdale, Hillsdale County. Okay. Right across the line, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's not too far. All right. Thank you. Well, we have a Huey coming overhead now. I didn't think they'd be in the air here. Here she comes. Can I zoom? Okay, I can zoom when I'm doing a live stream. I didn't know that until now. This is probably the most modern thing you're going to see here. Uh, generally referred to as a Humvee. Now, I don't know enough about the terminology, so I'm going to make some mistakes here about what I'm seeing, because I'm not really a collector or a restorer necessarily. Don't know what that is. Is that a Chevy? Special Deluxe. It is 1948 Plymouth. So people come here, uh, vendors, I was a vendor in that building usually. Most years I'm a vendor in there. I don't know what kind of cannon this is or sort of a bazooka thing or whatever, but you'll see it keeps mounted with all sorts of things. Some reenactments here, I'm told, they dress up in costumes sometimes. Get some oddball vehicles such as this. You can buy this, it's for sale. Send somebody standing guard. I see this thing here every year. I'm not exactly sure what you call it. The sign in front will probably tell me. Oh, I don't see a sign necessarily. Here's a half, uh, I mean a half track it is under repair here. There's a deuce and a half painted black instead of the OD green. This vehicle here, I've seen this here every year too. And there's a half track, another half track, better condition. If you have a, let's say you have a Sherman tank and you get it stuck in 1961, this is the vehicle you would use to, it's an armored recovery vehicle. So 
So if you're under fire and the, and the Sherman tank and needed a tow truck, this is what you'd call. <laughs> Here's a, a child's Abrams tank, right? Half, operation half pipe. Am I still zoomed in? I don't want to be zoomed in. Let me show you. No. For people commenting, I'm not able to really see in the daylight here. This is on my phone. Oh, a band's about to play, so maybe I can't go that way. Girls are having girl time, boys are having boy time, right? I believe this is a five ton. The reason I'm here this weekend is to find parts for my five ton, and I did a video about that the other day. But that looks like it, well, it might be a decent half, I don't know. But that's a multi-fuel, I got a gasoline model. That looks just like mine in the front, basically. This would be newer, because this is a this is a multi-fuel. Mine's a 1955 Mac. This one's probably from the 60s, but I don't know. I'd have to, I'll talk to the owners. Let me go on back here, where I can bypass all the crowds and walk around. This area over here is mostly parts, but you're gonna see a lot of vehicles back here too. Crawl through here. Jeeps galore. appropriate for me to be walking around and talking while the band's playing, right? Fly over Cincinnati Warbirds. Give them a big hand as they fly over, like they're going to hear us. <laughs> Gotta come back here for parts. There they are. I thought they were going to be jets. I didn't realize they were going to be that type of airplane. Don't know my airplanes anyway. Oh, look at this, a free bin. <laughs> I knew what I was looking at. I might need these. You'll find all kinds of parts for just about anything, any military vehicle you might have. Ooh, generators too. I need me a good diesel generator. I have to come back and look at that again too. There's the Huey flying coming back. Didn't think I'd be in the same vicinity at the same time. Okay, let's go, Wes. Let's. Let's go to another area where we have other vehicles, because this is going to be the parts area. You don't want to see parts. I don't even know how many people are with me here. The landing pad is just on the other side of this building here. Well, if I need a new engine, I know where to go to get one, right? This is what they call a mule. Thank everybody for the, uh, thank Basically, your four wheeler that's a small pickup truck. Basically, sit right on the deck. Now, there's a, a rocket of some kind, missile. Oh, it's a Nike. 
I went to a Nike base in California in 2017, an operational one. Well, operational in the form of the hydraulics anyway. Another Humvees, more Humvees, more Jeeps, looking from the back of them. That's probably a 10 ton there, hauling this Nike missile. Okay, let's go this way. They're coming back. Let's see if I can zoom in. to say folks I don't know what kind of planes those are I could have looked them up before I came here another mule hey a two-seater boy going in style now 1968 with another one of those cannon on the back of the trailer another missile over there I need one of those uh, stabilized uh, holders for a camera. So you're going to get shaky camera here. I bet there's 50 or more Jeeps here. Every year there normally is. And I don't know the years of these things. That's a 1952. The sign gave it away. 1942, 42. Everywhere you look, military vehicles. Another deuce and a half. Multi fuel. Okay, where's the? Okay, the other vehicles are up here. Normally, they'd have already more of the special vehicles in the area I've already walked through. But over here we'll have a lot of big the big guys. We'll probably have some ducks here. Oh, I hear a Huey firing up again. We're getting near the, the landing pad for the Hueys. Let's see if they have one or two here this year. Let's head over there and see if we can watch it take off. Might be too late by the time I get there. Let me hurry a little bit. It's already airborne. Ah, they got two Hueys here this year. The last last year they had two Hueys. I think normally I'm here, they only have one Huey. Don't know if they're both flying, but we got another Huey there sitting on the ground. Not running. Okay, let's see what we got here. Some more Jeeps. Anybody making comments? Sorry, I'm not, not able to look at your comments. Another recovery vehicle. I think this is the one I normally see at Knob Creek. The uh, the uh, Knob Creek show is no longer. I don't know what that is. It might just be a commercial freight liner made up to look military. That's uh, four wheels instead of ten. Not sure what that is. That looks like a deuce and a half to me. That's a ten ton, I think. Yeah, I don't see as many vehicles here this year. To be honest with you. 
something more than Jeep. Well, that's a Jeep and a, what do they call these, a power wagon? I think these were Dodge, right? Now that might be a, I don't know if that's a five ton or a, or a deuce and a half. That's probably a five ton, that's a dump truck. That's what I have, except mine is quite a bit, quite a bit older, I think. Let me see what this is. This is a five ton? Yes. What year? 90. 90. And it's a, I don't see the, the multi fuel? No. It's not? No. It's Gasoline? No, 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 no. It's diesel. Eight oh, it's diesel. Coming. Not the multi fuel. I've, I've got a 1955 Mac dump truck, five ton, and I'm looking for parts. That's why I'm here. 1051? 1051, yeah. And I'm looking to get all sorts of parts. Um, Do I remember you from the Georgia rally a few years? I've been I've done a lot of shows in Georgia, but not a military show. Okay. Maybe I'm normally a vendor here. Okay, because I thought I might. Have so you may have seen me here. So, but this is quite a bit beefier than my five ton. Um, right, yours is a little shorter. Shorter. Um, Same stature as what I drove when I was in. Of course, mine has ten wheels, not six. I'm thinking of converting. I don't know yet because I do need new tires. I have a cover for sale over there. Um, a cover? Same. Like that? Oh, I don't. I don't need a cover. I'm using mine for work. Just for the heck of it, how much on the cover? I'll, I'll be back. I'm, I'm doing. I'll be back. I'm doing a live stream right now on YouTube. So. This then is probably a five ton as well. These like these more modern five tons, they do sit higher. They sit higher than mine. Of course, mine has ten flat tires, so it's a little lower than I would you would normally expect. Anyway, another missile, probably with a ten ton pulling it. Visually, it's hard to tell the difference between. Well, is this an amphibious vehicle? Kind of looks like it might be amphibious. Another one for sale. 1943 M29. So that's probably a five ton there. Yeah, these more modern five tons. I'm not used to how much taller they are than mine. The tire size, let's see. Mine are 1120s. So some of it's due to the tires, possibly. Don't know. Here comes the Huey coming back in for a landing. We can catch it landing here. Yeah, this area I would normally see ducks and all sorts of other vehicles. I'm sure you've all seen this in the movies anyway. See how steady I can hold the camera.
for anybody asking you to give rides. It costs. I know one of the fellows that has belonged to that organization. And they offered me a VIP ride. I bet the wind is killing us right now. They offered me a VIP ride. But I never could do it because I'm always a vendor. Got to watch my tables. Okay. I'm not seeing as many vehicles here this year, folks. So this is slightly a disappointment. That looks a lot more like mine, except that's a multi-fuel. The way I can tell right away well, when it's a multi-fuel is when it has this stack out here, the exhaust stack. Got the air cleaner on the outside, too. That one's got a winch. More modern, don't know what it is. It's probably a deuce and a half. M35A2, 1976. M43, hey, you hear that MASH theme playing right now? M43 from 1953. Yep, that's your... That's your MASH ambulance. Okay, quick run through. I don't want to make this video really long. I'll probably leave it up for those of you who are, are with me and want to see you later. I'm probably going to leave it posted trying like hell not to include many people's faces or children because if that happens YouTube will end up blocking things and the band played on yeah the Huey's taking off again I guess as long as they got passengers they'll continue to go I think I saw somebody asking. Uh, I'm looking for, at this point now, since I have my my M51 engine proven to be not seized, another mule, this one without a seat. <laughs> there's your there's your utility truck right there. Not even a seat. Just a place to put your feet. <laughs> I'm looking for carburetor rebuild kits at this point, starter rebuild kits. Uh, Seats, all sorts of things. Yeah, these, uh, depending on the year of this, these gauges have radium in the gauges to be radioactive, glow in the dark. Depending on the year. I don't know what the years these are. Certainly anything from the 40s and probably anything from the 50s will be radium dialed. Let's walk down this aisle. I haven't been down here yet. Been on another Dodge Power Wagon. Basically, your four your four wheel drive pickup truck. There's a 1943 classification WC51. I have six water buffaloes too. Probably don't know what that is, most of you. But actually mine don't have the wheels, mine are just, just the tanks. But that, that's the frame with a water buffalo would be on.
another mule. Yeah, I don't even know what else I'm looking for. I'm looking for a lot of things, but I don't know what I'm actually going to find. Ah, there's a truck full with tires in them. I don't know if that's the size I need or not. I think that's been converted to something. The headlights don't look don't look right to me. Maybe it is. I don't know. Nope, those are smaller than mine. Those are 920s. Mine are 1120s. Let's see how much they cost. 920s, $2,000. Yeah, I'm going to spend at least $3,000 to get uh, ones I need, I bet. But those, those are for, for a deuce and a half, probably. That's what I need, though. diesel generator. I could use something about 10,000 watts. Come back and check those later. Desert sand paint scheme wasn't very popular until the Gulf War. Oh, here's something you don't see every day either. Although it's not military. I didn't see any things yet either. Oh, there's a thing. Wait, is that a thing? No, that's an amphibious something or other. It's got the same basic ugliness as a thing. A Volkswagen thing. This is a... I have a, a Japanese truck similar to this. Mine's a Honda, but this one is a... Uh, Mitsubishi? No, I, don't, I can't see what it is yet. Tiny pickup truck. But... It's four-wheel drive, and it's got, uh, we'll get about 45 miles a gallon, and it's still a half-ton bed, and the sides fold down. You can remove the sides, too. You remove the back, you remove the sides, and it's a flat bed. Haul about the same as what a half-ton pickup truck would be hauling, and it's four-wheel drive. You hear the Huey again? Going in a metal building, we could lose signal. Military surplus stuff. This is one of the vendor's aisles. It'll be mainly parts and surplus. I think mine is good on this. If I had M37 and I needed a bed, there we go. Those of you who don't know, and as I was watching the show, this uh, the video. I'm normally here as a vendor, uh, and I sell radiation detection equipment and survival supplies. But because of what Putin did and the uh, huge increase online, uh, I made enough money to start doing my own construction project, and so that's what I was attempting to do. Because um, gas masks sold like crazy, and so did radiation detection equipment. Oh, MREs. I used to. I had at the uh, Knob Creek show. I bought 66 little over pallet of MREs. Sold them all in two days. Well, they got them for ten dollars each. Ooh. I had them for seven. But uh, price has gone up. I'm sure it's like any other food. All food's gone up. They're probably selling a case of 12 for probably 100 bucks. Thank you for all 
front end for an M51. Hoods and grills. Just come check out their seats later, but that's for Jeep stuff. I'm gonna have a harder time finding some parts that I need because most people are into Jeeps here. really long video. Um, I'll leave it up. The video will hopefully it'll save on its own. I won't lose it this time. I have a, I'll, do, put in, I'll link some other things below. Uh, I have, uh, I was here, I filmed in this grandstand here, I filmed the uh, uh, flamethrower demonstration tonight. And so I'll include that in the link below on another channel, which I don't have control over, where YouTube decided to lock me out of my channel, on a couple of my channels. Still there. So, thanks everybody for watching. I'm going to end it now if I can figure out how to do that. Probably. Can't figure out how to end it as a Huey flies over. for the right button here folks I can't even figure out how to turn it off uh, here there's an X over here let me try that are you sure you want to stop streaming okay <laughs>